Hello and welcome. So far, we've had various discussions around the normal distribution and its properties. But there are two interesting properties of normal distribution that we have not discussed so far. These are known as skewness and kurtosis. Let's see what a skewness looks like. So a skewness is basically distortion in the symmetry. A typical normal distribution, if we place a mirror across y-axis, both the sides will be identical. But when we talk about a right skew or a left skew, what does it mean? A right skewed distribution would be the one which would have its right arm stretched. Likewise, a left skewed distribution would be the one which will have its left arm stretched. There is a distortion in the symmetry that comes. Skewness is something that can be measured. For a normal distribution, because it is symmetric, the value of skewness is zero. But for a right skewed distribution, it would be a positive value. The more the skewness, the greater this value would be. Similarly, for a left skewed distribution, this would be a negative value. And the greater the skewness, the greater would be the value in magnitude. So if we keep these apart, there's one more interesting takeaway that happens due to skewness, which is visible here. So we know in case of a normal distribution, the mean, the median, and the mode all coincide. The mean being the central tendency, adding all the values divided by the counts. Median being the central tendency, which divides the data into two halves. So obviously, this would be the line that will divide the data into two equal halves. And mode being the most common value in the data. That's always the P. What happens to these central tendencies in case of a right skew? Well, the peak remains where it was. So the mode is not affected. Median, because it has to divide the data into two halves, would shift to the right of the mode. And mean, because it is directly affected by the magnitude of the values, which will go further to the right. Similarly, in case of a left skewed distribution, mode again would remain unaffected. Median will have to shift this time to the left, and mean will be affected the most, it will shift further to the left. The very important property, what happens to the central tendencies in case of a right skew or a left skew? You should keep this image in mind. Moving on to the next important property, which is known as the kurtosis. The kurtosis is something which is a measure of tailedness of the distribution. The value of kurtosis for a normal distribution, as you can see with the dotted line in this case, is known to be three. And the deviations in this case are of two types. First deviation is when you have heavier tails. So if you see this orange bell-shaped curve that you see has heavier tails, it's extended beyond this black dotted line, which represents the normal distribution, right? So it has heavier tails. When it has heavier tails, it is called a leptokurtic distribution. When its tails are thinner compared to a normal distribution, just as you can see in case of this blue distribution, just because of the overlap, you're getting a shade of gray here. Otherwise, you can imagine this entire outline from here to here is representing another type of kurtosis, which is known as the platykurtic, so which has thinner tails. Let's analyze each of these separately. So now the interesting piece is just because a distribution is bell-shaped, it doesn't guarantee that it is normally distributed. So we discussed this earlier as well, but we didn't discuss it from the perspective of kurtosis alone. Now you see it here. These look very similar. If you would have not seen the previous plot, you would not even notice that there is a difference. But just because there is a difference, the kurtosis no longer remains three in these two cases. They are bell-shaped, they are symmetric, but they're no longer normal. This is leptokurtic and this is platykurtic. Whereas the normal distribution in general, which has no excess kurtosis, is known as mesokurtic. So what is the kurtosis for a leptokurtic distribution? It will be greater than three. And in case of a platykurtic distribution, this value will be less than three. So this was a short video covering two important properties of the distribution, particularly citing an example of normal distribution, which is supposed to have a skewness of zero and kurtosis of three, and what are the kind of deviations which are possible. Hope you got something new to learn. Thank you.